All right, chip of the day. Um, we have an SI2301 CDS. Uh, is a cute little uh, P-channel MOSFET um, in a TO23 pack, SOT23 package, TO236. Um, so yeah, SOT23, uh, standard part. But yeah, look at this little guy. Um, 20 volt, but it the specs are in, uh, a, a little bit uh, a little bit misleading. It says it can do three three point one amps. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> but uh, it says continuous. It says pulsed. It'll do ten amps. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> uh, but yeah, ten amps. Pulsed and 3.1 amps continuous. And you think, oh, well, great. Eh, it's not going to really do that in real life, okay? We have to worry about certain things. Um, so you can see here that we have 3.1 amps, but in the same, it, that's for 25C, but there's also another one here for 25C, and it's only 2.3 amps. But then there's a footnote, B and C. You always have to read these darn footnotes. And B and C is that it's mounted on a one by one FR4 board. Now it doesn't say that it has to be copper, it just says FR4 board, so I don't know about that. But this is the big hit one, T equals five seconds. So it's only good for five seconds. Even though it's continuous, it's only good for five seconds. So do you call that continuous or not? <laughs> I don't. Um, so uh, what is it? all the time. I, it, it doesn't really say. Doesn't doesn't really say here. Um, even, yeah, I don't know. It's it's weird. We have some uh, thermal ratings, uh, degrees C per watt. Here is less than five seconds and here's steady state. So I think this is a real steady state. 62 cent uh, degrees centigrade per watt. Okay, well, hmm, uh, I don't know about this. It says absolute max ratings, and in fact, these are all absolute max ratings, not recommended ratings. That's kind of weird too. But it says uh, 150 degrees C operating junction and storage temperature range. Now, well, the junction temperature is inside the part. It's the actual silicon. So if you use a camera to measure the uh, thermal temperature on the plastic, the, the, the junction is going to be much, much hotter than that. But this is about small little parts, so there's not going to be, uh, there'll be a little bit of difference, but it's not as bad as it usually is. Um, and then we got some other specs, which is on state drain current. And here's another one. Uh, this one says only six amps. Um, but under what conditions? Now there's another footnote. Okay, so you have to go to the footnote. This, remember, this is six amps. It says, this, this is a pulse test and the pulse width is less than 300 microseconds and the duty cycle is less than 2%. <laughs> okay, so, um, so anyway, takeaway for this little part is I think it's great for pulsing high current things for little, little brief, uh, you know, time slots, so. It's good for pulsing things, but I want to run at DC. So let's see if we can turn this on, run at DC, and see how hot it gets. See see how much current we can actually get through this thing DC-wise, because it is a cute little part. All right, here's the part here on a little adapter board. I'm going to be using a uh, dummy load, so we can load this thing down. And I did not turn it on correctly. Oops. All right, there we go. So let's uh, set this thing for, um, oh, let's zip it way down to, let's say 100, uh, 100 milliamps. I'm gonna have 100 milliamps in. We'll have five volts, uh, five volts onto the part, 100 milliamps. Turn that on. And we're getting 100 milliamps out, 0.2 watts. And uh, we have 4.2 volts. So we have five volts going in, 4.2 volts coming out. So it is dropping a little bit. It is dropping a little bit. So let's get out a thermal camera. All right, let me uh, take a look at the part here. Uh, 42 degrees centigrade. That's not so bad. 
Okay, let's up the current here. Let's go up to uh, 200 milliamps. There we go, 200. And we're up to 52C. Let's wait here, 53. Can you see that? I'll bump you up guys a little bit. 54. Yeah, it's still not bad. 56. All right. Uh, let's take it up. Take it up further. Let's take it to, uh, here's 320. 320 uh, milliamps, 1.27 watts, 66 degrees C, 68. All right, it's got pretty low on resistance, like 0.09 ohms, something like that, 71 degrees C. Eh, still doing pretty good here. Let's take it up to half an amp. Let's go ahead and take it up to half an amp. Okay. Let's see how we're doing now. 900, I mean 90, uh, 92 degrees C, 93, 94. Half an amp, huh? Well, that's not bad. 95. I thought we would get lucky to have, get an amp out of this thing, but 96. Now I'm not going to want to take it much over about 120, I think. I think that's going to be a bit on the danger side. 98, 98 degrees C. Okay. Let's take it up a bit more. Let's take it up to, uh, here's 620 milliamps. Yeah, now we're up here around 111. and twelve, thirteen. Yeah, fourteen. Yeah, I probably wouldn't want to go much above this. Six hundred milliamps for that tiny, tiny, tiny little part. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's getting up to be 120 now. It is fairly warm in the garage too, so having some hot days here in California. 120C. Okay, well, that's just a quick look at this little part. Okay, there we go. And we are running it here at uh, 618, 619 milliamps. And like to say, I think the, the, the claim to fame for this little guy is pulse. Uh, you know, six, six amps pulsed. If you, I, don't, I don't know exactly what you need to pulse with really, really short little, little current spikes. I don't know when you would do that. Uh, but there must be some use case where you need just really, really short, high current pulses. And this part would do that just well. If you're going to use a DC like I just showed, probably around half an amp uh, you could get away with. Um, so the chip of the day was an SI2301 CDS by uh, Vichy.